I'm very educated on filmmaking. Mm. <clears throat> you should show some of the surveys that we're getting them into. I don't have them. Oh. I will, though. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. <laughs> That's Secretary Bobby. Our, yes, our secretary is working hard. Car. Oh, yeah. Why do I always say Kerr? <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. Oh. Um, and our vice president is over here working hard, too. Yeah. We're well, going to show him here in a minute. Mm -hmm. You're going to see what that's yeah, uh, Bobby, Bobby Joe's emceeing for us tonight. <laughs> She's going to what? MC. Oh, oh no, MC. That, yeah. <laughs> or she we actually wanted to sing a song. Yeah, you crazy. Yeah. Just saying. I used to sing in choir in church, but they asked me never to come back. That was kind of insulting. Let's hear a song. That's how bad it was. <laughs> Even God left the church. <laughs> <laughs> That's really, really bad. Well, you should be embarrassed of yourself. I am. So, as you all know, we have been working hard on um, getting our parole reform <coughs> bill introduced into legislator, legislation by the legislators. Um, I'm trying to figure out why these kids are by our cars. Because then they live next door, and they're the ones that peed on my house. Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. I, Terry's on it. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to worry about that. Um, so we have been working hard on trying to get our reform bill uh, introduced into legislation. And recently we just sent out questionnaires to our uh, men and women who have been to the parole board and have been um, flopped because we wanted to get a total of it. Oh, this is my husband's cousin. I need to yeah. read this. Yeah. And of course, this is only the start. We're going to be doing it for about a month, I think. So, um, and this so far is all of what we've gotten back. And it's still, we're still continuing on. If you have a loved one that is in the um, Ohio prison system and um, you would like to ha for them to have a questionnaire sent back into us, our goal is actually to give it to the governor's office, the Senate, and the House, correct? Yes. Um, mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to do. The governor's office has uh, told us that they wanted to receive copies mm -hmm. of this, and um, so that's what we're doing. Yeah. And I've been opening up all the envelopes, and I did get injured uh, with a paper cut. Right. That hurt. That hurt. I. I mean, Terry said I can't get workman's comp though. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Terry's protecting. Uh, not my car. We've got some loiterers right outside here. I do have a scooter though. What are you gonna do? Run them down <laughs> with your scooter? I offered to pick you up in it. Beat them with your cane. But I would have to stop every twelve miles to charge it. Issues in regards to Ohio parole system was in the day, Dayton Daily News. Right. Yeah, we read that. Right. And of course, we were not very impressed with the new director. Oh, I need to read this one too. Um, saying that the parole board is doing their best. <laughs> These and are they're all trying to be fair. My husband's people. She's new to the system. And yeah, we, we read it. And not impressed. We were not impressed at all. Not impressed with what uh, the new director had to say. And we're meeting with her Friday, so we'll probably be even less impressed. 
Yes, so our um, so again, the questionnaire, if you want your loved one to have a questionnaire, you can go to our website at www.fairtreatmentreformandreentry.org and download the questionnaire on there. Um, our proposal is also available for uh, <clears throat> to be downloaded. You can also send it to your loved one if you want to. Um, but just is that keep in mind that it's on, on, on there too it's that they can download. Not yet. Okay. So so far, this is what we've gotten in on the questionnaires. We are personally going through them <clears throat> one by one, and um, you down with these. Yes. Okay. We're personally going through them one by one and reading them and doing our own little uh, statistics. I got one of those. What? Calendar. We all did. Oh. You're not special. I got a market though. <laughs> one positive thing she said was she is in agreement that there needs to be transparency. Oh, yeah, what is the rest of it? Yeah, but what what bull. type of transparency BS. does she mean? So this week um, we have a meeting with the new director of the ODRC, um, 9 a.m. on Friday. Then our Cleveland community meeting. Um, is Saturday the 13th. It begins at one. Uh, we do recommend that you arrive at 1 o'clock because that's when we will start speaking. And it, it is also the um, launch of our letter writing campaign. We will have our postcards there that we just got. I know it's backwards, sorry. But our postcards um, that we received, we will have those as well as um, paper, pen, paper, envelopes, and um, I think that we're going to bring a couple laptops in case people want to get on there and, and email as well. That's still yet to be determined. <laughs> I can bring mine. I can bring mine. Yeah. I'm not so good, sure how good the one that we had for the group is because it's out of memory. And then um, next oh, Wednesday, we have a really important meeting, too. This Wednesday. Yeah, this Wednesday. So we have a full week this, this week. And then next week, uh, the week after that, we have two meetings. Wait, is this still a meeting? Which one? Why do I have possibly? They haven't called me back to change it. Okay. So as far as I know, it so is. we have a board meeting on the nineteenth, and then um, and we will also next Sunday we will only be doing a question and answer uh, for our show. Uh, the week after that, we won't be having a show because it's Easter. Um, the twenty third, we have a wrongfully convicted seminar that we will be attending. And on the 26th will be our protest in Cleveland at the Justice Center, in front of the Justice Center at 11 a.m. And then all the fun begins. My favorite food. On the 28th when we do James' birthday bash. And I'll be 50 years old finally. Wow. Minus... No. Plus, plus a few years. Well, last year I was 55, so. I know I don't look it because at the dollar store they carved me. <clears throat> she told me I didn't look it. You definitely look over 18. Well, 21, I think she said, actually. Not even uh, close. Mm -hmm. Try again. I don't look what I, uh, what I am. And then, of course, we have uh, even more events throughout the summer. Yes, um, so <clears throat> in May, um, we have our Mansfield tour, May 4th. Uh, then May 17th will be our, 
uh, statewide. No. It's actually a national, national protest. National protest. But our state will be meeting at the state house at 11 a.m. corner of South High and State. Mm -hmm. And then the 18th is our tentative yard sale. Of what month? May? May. Oh. Mm -hmm. Then June, <clears throat> excuse me, June is our community meeting here in Columbus at the Church for All People on the corner of Whittier and Parsons. Yeah. And that begins at 2 o'clock. We encourage you to get there at 2 because that's when we will start speaking. Um, July 13th is our fundraiser. It's not our fundraiser. It's our fun night at the Columbus Clippers. The tickets are $10 a piece. There's a form that you can um, get off of our website, fairtreatmentreformandreentry.org. Um, $2 extra if you call it in, but only $10 if you mail it in. Or pick it up. Or pick it up. And then um, at some point in there, we will be having a family fun day. Um, we just got to get that all confirmed. And then on August 3rd is our Voices of Reform conference, um, which begins at 11 o'clock. I do recommend that you arrive at 11 o'clock, especially if you're going to do the expungement um, booth. Right. Because they really got backed up last year and not everybody got a chance. Right. We'll be getting some literature, too, on who's eligible for expungement so that um, they don't sign up if they're not eligible. We'll have a booth where um, ex-offenders will be able to register to vote because um, we want to make sure that everybody's voice is heard, especially with us... Um, running this reform parole reform bill um also a bake sale we we'll have uh um candace will be selling our group shirts there um see i got the one on they make lives matter right then we have a a blue one with our group's name on it or you could even have it put on a black shirt mm -hmm. So that's what we have coming up. Oh, if you would like a table too, that's $20 for the table. Payable through our website. And we'll have other speakers too. We're just getting that all, all organized still. Mm -hmm. All right. It's your turn. It's on you now. It's your turn. She's using my line. That's unfair. Hi, bye, bet. She's a cutie. Aren't they all? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The vicious ones. What? We're waiting. Oh. Candace is going to go over our proposal. <laughs> uh, since she has it in front of her. He always does this to me. But wait till wednesday okay it's on you now we were um we were eating at ponderosa the other day <laughs> and sure enough some guy would overheard what we were um discussing at the table and he walked up to james and said he had just gotten out or something like that and what does james do his famous line here's our president candace um She'll be able to tell you. <laughs> and she did help. She did talk to him. Right. So me and uh, Bobby Joe just looked yeah. at each other like. Yeah. I was too busy eating. You're. He doesn't eat pork. Mm -hmm. No, except bacon. I, I've always said, yeah, bacon. I but he ate all of the bacon. Yeah. The two times that he went up yep. there. Yeah, there's no doubt. That's my. I, but he doesn't eat pork. I had to hide from the workers there. You do there. realize that. Yeah. Uh, bacon is pig. Right, right, yeah. Okay. That's the only... Uh, well, I'll eat ham once around Christmas, but I, I don't like pork chops or any of that. I just don't like the taste. Um, okay, it's on you still. But he doesn't eat pork. Thank you, Yvette. She told me I was doing a good job. She appreciates me. 
Who's that? Another cutie? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> it's only cuties telling you that, though. <laughs> Oh, well. Because nobody else said it to <laughs> oh, me, so I guess I should be insulted. Yeah. Hi, Leanne. Another cutie? No. Uh, oh, hi, Leanne. I know who you are. <laughs> okay, from Minnesota, right? Oh, yeah. So, um, starting in February, February 21st to be exact, we um, launched our uh, Reform the Parole Board campaign with a proposal that we presented to the uh, state legislators, starting with the senators. At that time, we weren't sure who uh, the Judiciary Committee was, um, but we did find out that day. So we scheduled another <coughs> um, legislation day and went back March 19th, I believe it was and spoke with only well i think maybe there was a few that wasn't judiciary was two well one wasn't because bob peterson couldn't meet with us oh. that day so he would have been the second one so we um met with i think we have met with everybody on the judiciary so if we didn't meet with them that day we met with them later and we also have met with a few uh of the state representatives um, where James and I went by ourselves just on uh, separate days that they were available. Uh, we, just because this has, we've already done this doesn't mean that we're going to stop. We're going to continue to push forward and, um, present our proposal, uh, <coughs> until, we get it introduced. And that means keep meeting with the same people over and over mm -hmm. until they get tired of seeing us. And we were actually walking from the State House to the Rife Center um, to meet with, we had met with the Senator, we were going to meet with the State Rep, and we ran into another State Rep Don who Manning. was very interested in our <coughs> proposal. Yeah, he's the chairperson of the uh, Criminal Justice mm -hmm. Committee, which handles the parole board issues. Yes, and we have also met with the governor's office as well as the attorney, general. um, attorney general's office. Uh, anybody else that we've met um, with? No, but Wednesday may be our biggest meeting. Yeah. So we did get a phone call from a state rep saying that uh, they had received our proposal, were very interested, had read it from front to back, and could possibly be interested in... Um, Sponsoring, sponsoring it. it yes so we will be going there Wednesday and I will be speaking and James will be sitting there looking pretty which I do best um, we're, we're give we'll give the names of the state reps at a future date when it's ready to contact them but we want to meet with them first yeah we like to uh, meet with the representatives before people start sending them letters just so that they know uh, what people are sending letters for or they'll probably just go in the trash uh, so like I said um, we have gotten back how many questionnaires so far I don't know there's probably what what is it about 65 questionnaires <laughs> I didn't count she's them. got a Deer in the minute. headlight look. Wait a minute, I'll let um, you know. <laughs> so we have, I mean, guessing. we've got like three folders full, and we have been reading through them. And 56. 56. 56 of them back so far. I told you. Um, the, this would seem like. You can download the letter and the questionnaire that gets sent to your loved one off of our website at fairtreatmentreformandreentry.org. Uh, the letter needs to go with the questionnaire and the questionnaire needs to be returned back to us no later you than what, what date it. about um so we're gonna try i think we're reaching for the middle of may i i well, it's telling people month. the end of end of april yeah, well, let's let's, let's, let's say the first week just be safe yeah you know give them the grace period so um the only way that we will accept the questionnaires is if they come directly from the prison 
to our address that allows us to know that they're giving their consent for us to use the questionnaires and their stories um, because some of these are absurd some of the stuff that we have written <coughs> written read <laughs> is ridiculous like some of these guys that are in there on um, they don't have violent crimes no. and one guy in 40 had, years like, got continued 22 times that means every year he got two or th I mean every pro board hearing got two or three years he's on his 40 some year he's mm -hmm. been locked up hi Mildred um, so we are going through those with a fine tooth comb and reading them we are picking out some of the stories to highlight when we do go and talk to the legislators um we've been receiving a ton of phone calls yeah a ton of phone calls and not all is regarding pro but the majority of them are now yeah, the, um, because they the proposal has been spreading through the institutions. Uh, people are talking about it. They're you know feeling a little glimmer of hope. So they're calling and asking what's going on um, and how can they help. And <coughs> so we're just telling them, you know, we'll send them out a questionnaire to return back to us and. It's just, it feels good to know that we can be their voice and that we're not going to back down. We have definitely caught a lot of slack within the last few months um, for what we're doing. We've been accused of doing things or saying things, and um, that's just simply not correct. So we will always... Uh, defend what we do and we will not back down from it Definitely we not. are not um, scared I mean you should see us when we go to the courthouse <laughs> James is practically tripping people like oh hey did you did you read our proposal <laughs> then of course we try to get out of the way and every time here comes all the senators and used to see Peggy Lena run away from us <laughs> Yeah. And she was one of the ones that was actually in that. Yeah. And she's on my page. <laughs> she was one of the ones that was in that article today. And she's one of the ones that. She won't meet with she us. She won't meet with us. Her, her aide did, but she has no interest. So I thought that was a funny part of the story, too. Right. And it was kind of one sided. Um, I don't think they really gave it fair. Um, the only thing that I seen that they probably told the truth was. New Director Smith um, believes the pro board is doing the best, that they're fair. And yeah. we, all, we all know that that's untrue. Um, so, of course, we'll let her know that oh, on coming Friday. Out. <laughs> Terry's locked out. Um, Mildred said, you guys are making a huge difference. Parole justice for all. Thank you, Mildred. Right. And Mildred definitely has played a big part in helping us as she well. She does a lot of our research. Something um, I don't like to do. Yeah, because it takes everyone to do it. Uh, and I get tons of inbox messages and um, lots of <coughs> phone calls, text messages, all kinds of stuff where people are um, <laughs> asking for our help. You could get the pan and make the pizza. Aren't you Italian? Yes. Make the pizza. <laughs> yeah, the thing is next to the sink. By the door. Sorry, guys. We're... Yeah, as you can see, we do a lot of eating. But usually when we eat... What are eat, you trying to say? No, when we eat, we're always doing it over business. Okay. So, you know, one hamburger, then we talk for a minute, then I go out for a cigarette, then we talk again. We, I don't we smoke, to get, so that's you. Right. But our parole, uh, the goal of this parole reform bill is um, 
for one to uh, have uh, immediately for the old law prisoners. And those are the men and women that were um, incarcerated before July 1st, 1996. Um, but this will also help the new law inmates to this proposal. Yes, uh, the new law inmates that are under the parole board. Um, and they're way past their minimums. So many of these guys, some of them are 1970-something and should have been, their minimum was, you know, 20 years ago. Yeah. Or something like Just that. Just turn the thing on it. Okay, I'm teaching her how to cook. <laughs> You're teaching her how to turn on the gas stove. Oh, wow. Stop it. Um, and also what's happening is these uh, <laughs> these men, are, men, men and women are going in front of the parole board and they have um, like other people's files mixed in with their files so they're not given a fair hearing on their own actual prison record um, and there's no way to appeal it like for instance my husband when he went in they had somebody else's file in front of them and he told them but he had to tell them like three times and he was told um, we we realized our mistake or whatever it was but you don't get to ask any more of the questions because he was you know asking like what why is this happening and but there was no way for us to appeal his hearing because you have to have new evidence, new evidence in the case so you can't just appeal your your uh parole right. hearing and there, there will be a section i believe that addresses that in yeah there. um also the parole board has doesn't have any kind of guidelines that they have to follow. So we're asking for them to have guidelines, be more um, diverse, and have equal representation, um, be videotaped, have some type of uh, something, and, be, and have it be made public. Because currently... Nothing is made public. No, and they the guidelines was thrown out in June of 2010. Ten. And that's all they were was guidelines because they didn't have to uh, go by them because they weren't enforced. And when we did talk to the uh, governor's office, they said that they were very aware of how the parole board is not... Um, very transparent it's not diverse there's not equal representation so they are working on getting that and then when that article came out today it said that she was that um, the new director is going to put in four new members or something which so. which is hard to believe since the governor's office said they were doing the appointing. <laughs> right so and you don't want the director to do it it's going to be nothing but the same Right. As it has been for years and years. And they do have some stuff that is in place or that has been introduced, waiting to be voted on, things like that. Um, but which would be fine from now moving forward. But they need to, if, if they're going to bring these guys back up in front of the parole board, there needs to be a new parole board. Or it's just going to be the same thing. Right. Even the new juvenile bill that they're trying to pass um, to bring all the juveniles back in front of the parole board. What's the point if it's just the same? Yeah. They're gonna. They're gonna. If it's just the same thing, yeah. it makes no sense. And nothing's going to really change that. They're probably going to keep them in just as long as they were going to, regardless. And I think that was the SB 100. Or 30. Thir Might have been 30, wasn't it? Um. It was one of them. I don't know. It was. See, There's two different bills that's going up, and, and I'm not really impressed with either one. And if they want, ever wanted to include our proposal into it, it would actually have the meat of the order, it the unless 100? we're not going to back it. Which one was it? SB 100. Okay. 
Yeah. But um, I think that you were talking about us testifying in front of the one. Yeah, which, I don't think that has anything to do with us, actually. No. Um, we get notified on the judicial um, hearings. You know, and if they bring something up regarding pro, me and Candace definitely would be testifying um, because we want to let them know what we think is good, what we think is poorly written, so that we, we get our people represented. So does anybody have um, any questions regarding our proposal or anything that our organization is doing or how you can get in contact with us, um, anything like that? Do you have anything else to say about the proposal? No, um, we do have, a, Candace has a fundraiser out there which is gonna help with a letter writing campaign because that can be kind of costly. Um, um, we're put it underneath this video. Any little bit helps. Yes. Um, you know, postage, paper, <laughs> envelopes, transportation to go from different corners of the state. Mm -hmm. um, if they don't have a printer or whatever, tell them to get a hold of me. I'll do it. And if you don't have a printer to print things out, you can contact uh, Bobby Joe at fairtreatmentreform.bobbyjoe at gmail.com and she can just send her the information and she will be able to send a questionnaire to your loved one. Mm -hmm. It was weird. I sent her an email the other day and I got an email back. The guy didn't even speak English. So I don't know where it went. That's not surprising in the least bit from you. Yeah. It was somebody that was on already on my contacts. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is a very well outlined proposal. Beverly did a great job on it. And Beverly's going to be also speaking at our conference, basically the main speaker. She's going to go over the whole proposal. We're giving her an hour to do that along with answering questions. Mildred said, can you give us an update on Cynthia Mauser? I guess we'll find out Friday because yeah. we'll be there. I tell you what, she needs a go. We've heard she's gone, but we don't have um, we don't have confirmation on that. So, right. and I, I, but then we didn't know Ellen Ventures left in February neither. Yeah. And usually we we have some some knowledge of some of the stuff, mm -hmm. and usually inmates will hear the stuff before we do. Which I did just uh, set up my Google alerts so that I get any type of um, alert when that that happens anything like that happens mm -hmm. Mildred said we wrote letters asking for her dismissal and, and we brought it up to the governor's office as yeah, well. we did <laughs> and, and to, we and to uh, C uh, Cecil Thomas and our pro and our uh, protest signs will say that as well right maybe we'll put a picture of her on there Okay. Uh, maybe not because I don't want the signs of world. No. It's on you. <laughs> it's always on me. He always does this to me. Mm -hmm. So we are getting things done. We are making noise. Um, our name is definitely out there. They know us by face in the state house now, more so James, because he sits and looks pretty. That's all I'm hired for. <laughs> I just sit there and smile. Yeah. Yep. So we encourage everyone to get involved. I actually posted something on my page as well as in the fair treatment um and fair treatment reform and reentry pages, um, and it's been up there for a year. Did you take the advocating together down page down? That that yeah, cause I I put down like two months ago to set it down, and I've got to take it off. So, oh. But we have the still the reentry page, and wrongful conviction page. Okay. 
because right now um, with what we're doing we're only posting our stuff on the fair treatment reform and reentry page um, and then I guess we'll maybe get another group where it's more networking I could even I could put that together yeah or something like that and all of our committee members, we have a separate group just for the executive board and committee members where we post um, things in that just to involve the inside of our group in that. So make sure you check, if you're on one of our committees, make sure that you're checking that group for any updates or any news that you may have missed or mm -hmm. upcoming events or anything like that. Um, we will be having a family fun day. James will be in a speedo in the dunk tank, as well as you'll be able to throw a pie in his face. Oh, yeah, and yeah, I like that idea. Can you please get the chocolate the cream speedo? pies? The speedo? No, not that oh. one. The chocolate cream pie. I still please. have your tutu. You can no. wear that as well. No, I still have guys trying to pick me up. If you want to see him in a speedo and... You better donate a lot of money if you want to see that. So, um, I did post on the page, um, what was it? Let me try to find it. I'll read what I said. Um, six easy ways to get involved in our organization. I don't know how to use it's this It's also on the fair treatment page. Phone. <laughs> Lord help me. I have two phones, and this is the phone that I, I don't. If this isn't only for Ohio, we are just um, based in Ohio, and what we're, what we um, talk about is mainly in Ohio, but we definitely um, network in here. We definitely have a lot of people from other states that support us as well. Um, because some of the states have followed and behind us and like Arkansas they're horrible just like Ohio yeah and what we're yeah. doing but um, so our six easy ways to support our mission and get involved which our mission is to raise public awareness about the criminal justice system we advocate for fair just and transparent parole process and encourage state lawmakers to support these goals. We also assist returning citizens by providing information and resources. Um, number one, volunteer your time. Time is a valuable resource to our organization. From letter writing and community meetings to protests and events, every minute of volunteer time helps our mission. Number two, donate to a good cause. We are a nonprofit and donor dollars are our primary source for the running of our organization. You can donate at uh, www.fairtreatmentreformandreentry.org or to any of our fundraisers on our Facebook pages. Um, Tony said hi there, Jimmy. Um, hi, number Tony. three, like and share our social media. Spread the word to family and friends to keep everyone up to date on the happenings of Fair Treatment Reform and Reentry so they can get involved too. Number four, download our proposal and questionnaire. Keep your loved one involved by downloading it and sending them our literature. Let their voice be heard. Mm -hmm. um, number five is sponsor an event. All sponsorship will get your name added to any of our promotional uh, material. So usually sponsors are more like businesses or whatever to be able to to right. sponsor the... And we're looking for um, someone to sponsor our... Uh... Uh, conference August 3rd um, if your business or if you're with another organization would like to be one of the sponsors I think we're asking for a hundred dollars but any uh, donation will help out Tony said she's donating jewelry to our cause um, number six make a donation gift in the name of your incarcerated loved one with a $20 donation, we will feature and share your loved one's story on our social media and in our newsletter, and you will also receive a copy of that newsletter. So, um, 
because and, we have yeah, what five thousand yeah. followers <clears throat> or something. And if you'd like to cover the cost for a newsletter to go into your loved one, we're asking ten dollars uh, a year for that. No. No. What were you talking? That wasn't the. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, because that wasn't the. As we talked about the other day. I that was the that. membership. No, that, that was, was for, for a newsletter. I, I asked. I thought we said five dollars newsletter. Mm -hmm. uh, we yeah, it was five dollars. That was five dollars for the newsletter. No. Uh, we discussed both, but she wanted five, so. So, anyways, that'll be to be determined. Right. Um, so we do encourage all family and friends to get involved in the organization, uh, come to the events, go to a protest. If you've never been to a protest, uh, definitely uh, join us. They're fun. We have uh, we have signs. We yeah, have signs that you can banner, carry. A bullhorn, mm -hmm. which Gina will handle in Cleveland. She's got a big mouth. Well, I didn't mean it that way. She's, she's, hear you. oh, sorry, Gina. Um, but, uh, when she did it in Columbus, she had people stopping. Mm -hmm. So does anybody else have any questions before we go? And like I said, make sure to check our pages for all of the upcoming events and everything that we're doing, um, updates on what we're doing, the meetings we had. We uh, typically post periodically through there. Anything else? No, check, keep, uh, check and like our page for treatment, reform, and reentry. Uh, we're over the 4,000 mark. Mm -hmm. So let's hit 5,000 next. Yes. And we want to thank you guys for all of your support. And please reach out to us if you have any questions. And we will see you again next Sunday at 6 o'clock right here in the Voices of Reform.